Houston police are investigating 112 homicides so far this year. Compare that with 81 homicides at this time last year. Homicides, assaults, vehicle thefts, all sorts of crimes have been on the rise in Houston all during the tenure of our former police chief, Art Acevedo. Now that he's off to Miami, KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz takes a look at his crime-fighting track record and what Houston's new top cop has planned to make our community safer. I miss his laughter, his smile. I miss his love. Marnita Hinton wakes up every day devastated, reflecting on a life lost. The life of her 35-year-old son, Christopher Hinton Mena, shot dead last November in Southeast Houston. Throughout the city, murders are up dramatically over the last two years. Hinton knows it and talks to her loved ones about it. I tell them to stay safe and to uh, try to be in at a certain time before it get dark and to lock up. The murder count in 2020 under now former police chief Art Acevedo, the highest in over 25 years. Before bolting for Miami, Acevedo warned Houstonians this year will be worse than last. Get ready for 500 murders. Murders aren't the only crimes to rise in Houston. During Acevedo's roughly five-year tenure as chief, KPRC2 Investigates reviewed crime data going back to 2016 when Acevedo arrived. Crimes like motor vehicle theft, aggravated assault, and yes, murder. We compared 2016 before Acevedo took over to statistics from his final full year as chief in 2020. Stolen vehicles up 17%. Aggravated assault up 52%, and murders up a whopping 41%. That's a big jump. Shelby Stewart is a civil rights activist and former HPD sergeant. I don't believe that Chief Acevedo had a, a policing strategy. We cannot sit back and wait for the upward trend to, in crime to change on its own. This from Mayor Sylvester Turner following the swearing in of new HPD Chief Troy Finner a week ago. The Houston native viewed as part of the solution to Houston's violent crime surge. His job as chief of police will not be easy, but I am confident that he is the right person at the right time for this job. Three of Finner's planned strategies include increasing the number of cases highlighted by Crime Stoppers. The second, getting all influential members of the criminal justice system, cops, prosecutors, judges, all of them in the same room for constructive dialogue on how to reverse the crime trend. And the third, relying on the public to help solve cases. Men, women, stand up. Be good people, be good witnesses when we need you. He's got a problem in his, on his hands, right? But the good thing about him, though, is that he's from the community. Dr. Howard Henderson is the director of the Center for Justice Research at Texas Southern University. He also knows Chief Finner. Henderson says having a chief who grew up in the Fifth Ward is a good thing for Houstonians. There's just no way you're going to be able to solve crime without understanding how people think in these different communities. Marnita Hinton says communities can no longer be paralyzed by fear. People have to step forward or as Finner says, be good witnesses. We have to stop being afraid and speak up and tell if they know something. Tell, talk. There was one category that saw a decline under Acevedo, robbery. According to FBI statistics, incidents of robbery were down in Houston. In fact, they're at their lowest level since 2011. So how does crime under Acevedo's tenure compare to crime in the city over the last 35 years? We have examined and broken them down for you in the investigate section of click2houston.com. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. Thank you.